welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be telling you my tips on how to stay in shape. As you can see, I'm not in my usual location. I really needed to film and I'm at my grandparents' house. So this is their porch. Um, sorry for any airplanes or birds chirping. It's pretty early in the morning. The first tip I have for anyone that's trying to stay in shape that is around my age is doing activities after school. So for me, I do like dance, volleyball. That is what keeps me in shape most of the time. If you're not doing this, then stay for the rest of the video and see what other things you can do instead of doing activities after school. But I definitely recommend trying some activities after school because you can meet new friends, have fun, and you get physical activity, which is awesome. The next one I have for you is record what you eat. I actually have an app that's called Foodjucate. I will put what that app looks like right here. That is what that looks like if you want to download it. This is not a sponsor, no promo or anything, but I love this app so much. You like track how much you eat and what you eat and it grades your food from like A to D so you know how healthy it is and how bad for you it is you can track your water and if you want to pay for more of that you can track like vitamins minerals stuff like that you can also track your physical education which is really fun so you get to see how many calories you're burning off and it has a ton of activities listed so you don't even have to worry about what to do the next one i have for you especially if you can't do activities after school is trying to get at least 30 minutes of exercise every day so i tried to do this especially in the summer because you're not really doing as much this 30 minutes of exercise could be anything from chores riding horses doing a 30 minute workout video or just doing your own workout. Usually if I do a workout video, I will do T25, which is just a bunch of videos that are really helpful in working out. And I would recommend that for if you are planning on working out or doing anything like that. If you choose to do your own workout, I would suggest going on Pinterest and looking up different workouts that they have or YouTube. They all have really good workouts that you can try or you can just make your own workout that's best for you and then do that. My next advice is to drink water and not soda. Soda is filled with sugar that it's like the amount of sugar that you're supposed to have for two days. It's literally crazy. I promise you, if you stop drinking soda, probably gradually you don't have to stop drinking it all at once. But if you gradually stop drinking soda, then I promise you that you will probably lose weight. So drink a lot of water. The recommended amount of water to drink a day is 10 cups of water, 80 ounces. It's 80 ounces or half of your body weight. The recommended amount of water to drink per day is between 64 and 80 ounces of water so most people don't actually drink this much water but it's really important to stay hydrated and drink this amount of water to go along with the sugar one this next one i said watch your sugar women are only supposed to eat 28 grams of sugar every single day i don't know if that's different for men it might be like 32 or something but 28 grams of sugar can go by really fast. My suggestion for that is to track how much sugar you're eating and make sure that you eat a lot of foods that don't have added sugar, like regular sugar is fine, but added sugar is not. Like fruit, that's good, but like candies that has a lot of added sugar, soda, a lot of added sugar. I would also try to really become comfortable with reading nutrition labels and getting informed about that because if you know how to read nutrition labels then they can help you pick healthier foods. The next one is eat the correct portion sizes. Most of us when we look at the back of portion sizes for cereals or whatever it is usually less than what we actually eat. There is a food plate or food triangle whatever you want to call it that 
some people use to do their meals and it's not really supposed to be for every meal it's just like how much you should get throughout the day and I think that's very helpful and if you want to watch further videos on that or if you want me to do a video about that let me know or you can look up videos about that on YouTube but obviously you can't just switch to eating portion sizes obviously every day eat less and less and then you will get to eating smaller portion sizes your stomach will shrink and you won't be able to eat a lot of food anymore because your stomach will just not be able to handle it like I used to eat a lot of food and I like shrank my stomach I guess and whenever I try to eat a lot of food it just like doesn't go well so I recommend doing that because then you don't feel like you have to eat a lot of food when you're eating your brain doesn't know that you're full until 15 minutes after you ate so don't continuously eat eat like a regular meal and then if you're still hungry then wait 10 minutes and see if you're still hungry and then And then you can eat more food. There is, okay, it's gone now, okay, thank you. <laughs> the last piece of advice that I have for you guys is to try to not eat processed and fast foods. I know fast foods are good when you're on the go and you need a quick meal, but they are very, very, very bad for you. And I just don't even know how to explain it at this point. It's just, they have so much added sugar and they're so processed and, there's a thing that my health teacher said when we were learning about nutrition in class and it was like fat on the inside skinny on the outside and it means like you eat a lot of junk so your body on the inside isn't as healthy but on the outside you look skinny but really by eating all this fast food and processed food you're making the inside of your body not healthy that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Turn that notification bell on and I hope to see you again for more of my videos like this. I really like giving advice videos and this was actually requested from one of my best friends. Um, so you're welcome. But yeah if you would like to see maybe like what I do to work out or do anything like that, anything that I mention in this video, I would love to help anyone that is struggling to either lose weight, stay in shape, try to get a healthier lifestyle. This has been one of the things that was on my New Year's resolution for this year. I wanted to become healthier with sleep, water, food, all that good stuff. And I will probably do another video about this, more about like sleep and how to like be a healthier person instead of just staying in shape. I hope that you guys use this information. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again in my next video. If you want to subscribe, please do that. That would help my channel a lot. If you got this far in the video, comment down a smiley face emoji so that I know you're a real subscriber and I love you very much. See you next time.